Hello guys, my name is Adu AJ. Welcome back to my channel AJ3600. So today I have created a new series on how to build a real-time chat application using Laravel 5.5. So in this video, I am going to give you a brief introduction on what I am going to do in this series. So let's get started. <music> So this is gonna be the end result of this series. So without much further talk, I'm going to explain you each and every function that I have done in this project. So let's click the get started button and this will redirect us to the login uh, page where we can log in. So the styling is done using Bulma instead of Bootstrap. So once we log in, we are we can head into our home page from here we can go to a chat room so here we can we uh, we have the list of all the friends so in the right side of the friends name you can see a red dot it's because the user is not currently online when the user gets online it's aut it automatically changes the color to green so i will give a small demonstration to you i am going to open this project in another window i have logged in as corner and you can see now that the first icon uh, first red button has been changed into a green button so if i log out it just immediately changed so now we can move on to the chatting function so we can chat with any one of these and all the messages which we send to a chat is private and no others can visit it and the main the major function of uh, our major uh, advantage of this fun, uh, chat system is that we don't need to reload the page it's real time so i will give a demonstration uh, chat with the corner i will go to another page and log in yeah now i will open it side by side so i will send a hi and you can see that um in the other page you uh, the hi has been received without even reloading the page so since this uh, is going to be a short video i'm going to just create a fresh new Laravel application for this series so just go to any uh, directory where you want to install or create a new project and open it in cmd uh, i will just break it and close it out so if you remember then we are uh, we can create a new laravel project by uh, typing laravel new and the folder's name so now i am going to uh, have the folder's name as chat and click enter so i'll be back when the uh, installation is completed now the in installation process is completed so now let's cd to our project uh, cd chat and let's open it in atom or whichever um, uh, editor you like <coughs> I'm not going to do any kind of installation stuff in this video. I will save it for the next video where, where I will install all the necessary things for this series. So now let's set up a uh, uh, database for this project. So I will just go to localhost slash php my admin uh, and I will create a brand new database so should be having the name of chat <coughs> and the database is successfully created now ch I will edit it inside of our .env file uh, ok now that's fine let's move on to our app providers and app service provider 
so from here we can set the default string length to 199 or 191 uh, so that we doesn't face any kind of error while we are migrating our migration file so schema default string length will be 191 so now we don't have access to the schema, uh, schema class so we will just import it uh, just go into any migrations file from there you can see where schema uh, belongs just copy the code and paste it and that's fine I'll just close everything unwanted now I'll just migrate the migrations file by typing our, um, php artisan uh, migrate and this will migrate everything so I have ran php artisan serve let's go to local host 8000 to check whether the Laravel application is successfully installed or not and we can even reload our database to know whether the migrations is successful or not and we have an error yeah that's because we don't have any um, uh, key so we'll just generate it so php artisan key generate and this will get the key now if you reload yeah still errors because it's calling from the cache data so we will just clear out the cache data by typing config cache and this will clear the cache and now we don't have any errors this means the Laravel project is successfully installed so that's all for today's video guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel if you have any doubts regarding the laravel application you can just contact me through any kind of social media which i am in mean.